like that at him. You know, so that's how you have to feed boss man now. With a, we call it a long handle spoon. You know, where he can't bite you or nothing, you know. That's what long handle spoon means. I know y'all know about that. So that's the way he, we have to treat the system. Because the system is incoherent right now. It's not, it's, uh, it's still functioning along, but it's not functioning. It's functioning off of inertia, not off design. Uh, the little children, they got slaughtered down in Texas and all this stuff coming out about them and they had an hour or more. And the people are just panicked and the, the gun stuff and the stuff with old Don Don. They, they are not, this stuff is, uh, the system has lost all respect, all continuity. And so when I go out to California, I'm going to hurry up and sue them so I can get some of the money and buy gold or something with it. Because the, the dollar, I'll have to sue them for $5 billion because it won't be worth three. The American money is getting ready to drop. There's too much of it out. And inflation. And can you imagine, like, the common man, well, y'all deal with, with family people and all that more than I do. I can't imagine what the people are going through. Just when I go to the store to buy some of the stuff that I, so wait a minute, I was here last month, and now look at that. But there's been no increase in wages. You know, uh, they haven't had a recession in several years. I think 2008 was the last big one. So they're way behind now because it should be every seven, eight years. So they, this one is going to be stretched out, and they've broken all the rules. They've given away free money and inflation. And this is not America. This is all of Europe. If America has 8% eight in, eight inflation, London has 7.5%. You know what I mean? This is a global phenomenon. And our countries that are under, under sanction are doing better than they are. And they're under big sanctions. Uh, it's unbelievable. And we always talked about the money and all that. Well, look at the the, the bundles of uh, resources are being hooked together. With, it was years ago we talked about it, but we talked about it a lot in the last several months. <clears throat> uh, different economies consolidating, doing business in their own currency. And Russia, I think they got the strongest currency because when they told you we're not selling you no oil unless you buy it so uh, seven out of ten of them got in line and that's enough the others will get in line <clears throat> and the starvation uh, the bread the wheat and all of that uh, and the poor people uh, Russia is now hooking up something with the poor African countries where they'll be able to get, you know. But just look at everything. The riots they always had in Egypt was bread riots. And they're one of the biggest importers of wheat from Ukraine. I know we've said the African nation has actually met with uh, food recently in the past week. Oh no no they going they he going to work something out for them. Uh Russia and Africa has as good a record as anybody. Russia and the Chinese have been they have uh uh I mean back 
30, 40 years ago or longer. No, when I was there, Russians, uh, Russians was in Ethiopia supporting different, uh, 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 the, the uh, Cubans when they went to Angola. It was over 30 years ago. They whooped the snot out of them South Africans. I mean, them Negroes, 65% of the soldiers, Muslims, I mean, was black. They whooped the stew out of them South Africans. <clears throat> they had them scared to they didn't want to go. They were trying to join the police or anybody so they didn't have to go down there and fight them people. Okay, let's speed it up. Uh, the concept of treading water, we talk about it a lot. But we're evolving out of, we're evolving out of first we're in the movement, movement, moving ahead. Then we go into a tread water. Tread water is you, you're studying, looking around. <clears throat> you're still active. Like we have never ceased activity. Uh, but maybe at certain times we're not going toward a specific goal. We're keeping our head and body above water. We're staying focused on what we're doing. We're analyzing. And now... Uh, we're just about uh, headed in uh, the direction that we want to go in. I just mentioned that this is an era of extraordinary accuracy. Well, you can pull out your notebooks and see what we have said about the system, about the timing. And I've been right here all the time. I went to the program over there. We go to the. So how can that be? It's because the white man is dumb. He got the cars all messed up and the truck. The truck. How's the truck going to sit there and not run anymore? The doggone things are going to fall out of the truck. You know that stuff don't happen. You don't see me jumping up and down about it. Why? Because we're more accurate right now. See, at different times, allow you. That don't mean we're going to stay in this this form. But at this form, this is perfect. I sit with my phone and I listen to lectures and I watch lectures from every university in the world, almost on all the subjects. And I I get five or ten percent of something since. In other words, I get something out of them. I know what they're thinking and how they're presenting it. I look at this guy, Kevin Rudd or whatever his name, used to be the Australian foreign minister or something like that. He gives lectures on China. He speaks Chinese all that. Okay. He used to really be, he told Australians years ago, y'all might as well, uh, to join on up and uh, start learning how to speak Chinese. Then as soon as they sold these things illegally, oh, it was legally. As soon as they, the government did what they did and they changed the subject, I was going to see, was he going to change? He changed, and now when he talks about China, he might as well be talking about the devil. Just like that. He's flipped. He was always pro-Chinese. You know, he speaks perfect Chinese, you know. And now, since the system flips, he's, in other words, he's not given guidance. At first, he was given guidance. But when they flip that China is now bad, he don't give those lectures anymore. China is, is, is good. He don't give any of those. Before his lectures was pro Chinese. A few months back, not anymore. And Taiwan and all of that, and Africa, and look, <clears throat> it, the, the United, I don't, the reason things are moving like they are, and we don't have, uh, we, it's not by schedule anymore. We don't know. When the thing is going to collapse? 
Well, it'll collapse, but it'll, it's, gonna, it's not going to go anywhere. America will still be here. But when it collapses, we should be somewhat prepared. We are kind of prepared, you know, and... Uh, but uh, really structurally prepared, we would like to get one or two steps out there. But whatever happened, we're psychologically and emotionally and directionally prepared for it. It's not going to be any, whatever happened, even if it's mass chaos, it will be chaos for them, not for us. Okay, well, remember, we've anticipated panic. That's why we say we want everybody to join the police force in a hurry. We don't have time to get around to them. I hope somebody heard it. And I hope the few that's there will be able to uh, piece this thing together. But this thing is happening so fast now. It's accelerated. Okay, that happens with getting money and it happens with uh, the decline of a system. You know, uh, uh, we used to like be getting money and it would be mathematically, it would be, you getting money, but you can, you know, you getting three times your money and uh, you, this and three times. Pretty soon it jumps into geometrics. It's just an, an explosion, boom. And each dollar bounces into another dollar and it explodes that dollar. That's geometric. Well, I think it's geometric. But in other words, uh, that's the way we're getting ready to move right now. And we have to stabilize. We have a lot of hopes. For instance, everybody know who we are. When things get bad, they know them bums they listening to ain't gonna. They'll start listening to us. This is what I think would happen. Right. That already happened. Already was. Yeah. You know, when COVID was looking like anarchy was about to break out, when COVID first started. No, it was a. This was a. That was a global phenomena. And you notice they're not blaming the Chinese anymore. In fact, Dr. Fauci is going down in, uh, you know, in the ratings. Uh, and Don never was. But Don, I have to give him to him. He told him to help. Just drink some bleach. Take you some bleach, right? He did say that. You know, to me, that was, I, I could have packed up and went home when he said that. I said, okay, it's all over. I'm headed in. But he did. He said, get you some bleach. And the white lady had her legs, you know, when they're uncomfortable, they do, women do their legs like that, their, their knees together and their legs pointed out like this. And she was sitting there like, what did this boy just say? And she was, you know, anyway, body language, all the body language was just crazy. Anyway, let me go back and stay. Uh, again, we just went over feed the system with a long handle spoon. Instead of trying to get up close to it and give it guidance, if, since you don't want to listen, you can stay over there. Please don't come around us. Uh... Predictions without moving, we just talked about that, that our forecasting is more accurate now and more precise than it was several years ago and several months ago. Because at this time, uh, can you imagine, you don't have to go to the library and rent a video, a lecture on Africa and stuff like that or get a book that's uh, five or 10 years old, or, well, the articles that you could get on the web were better and more up to date. But uh, 
you can get instant analysis. And we get our analysis, which we may 90% agree with. We may get their analysis, which we 10% agree with. But we put it all together. That's why we come up with whatever we, everything, this is what it is. Everything is at our fingertips right now. In our laboratory, we don't have to go anywhere. We could bring all the, the latest stuff right into uh, uh, to our laboratory. And we associate it the way we want to. <laughs> hey, that's, that's why uh, we do put a weak weight on uh, a